today's excursion, we will be going tubing down Salt River at Tonto National Forest in Mesa, Arizona. It's the largest national forest in Arizona and the sixth largest national forest. The Tonto features some of the most rugged and inherently beautiful land in the country. An adult Saguaro cacti is generally considered to be about 125 years of age. It may weigh six tons or more and be as tall as 50 feet. The average lifespan of a saguaro is probably 150 to 200 years. A saguaro starts to flower around 35 years and produces its first arm around 50 years of age. The best destination for tubing in Phoenix is in the Salt River in Mesa, Arizona. Let's enjoy some fun in the sun. Floating down the Salt River is an Arizona tradition that you and your loved ones don't want to miss. We was nervous about the float ride due to having two children that was cautious themselves. We are fortunate to have an underground pool in the backyard. However, I think it was the whole surroundings and natural environment that did it for us. Upon arrival to point two, we began to see the culture and the scenery and things got real quick. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, finally, some relief from this Arizona sun. Water flows on the river vary by day. Children must be eight years old and four feet tall to go to it. And of course, life vests are required. Pack light and only bring what you need. Please protect your keys and electronic devices. Don't bring anything you don't want to lose. Music is a must. We were hoping we would catch a glimpse of Arizona's historic and majestic wild horses roaming the Lower Salt River. Unfortunately, we didn't see any horses. Only thing we got to see was some fresh horse poo. Boo. The float was very relaxing and enjoyable. The water was calm in some spots and the rapids was really flowing in others. By floating down the river, we got a really big surprise. Look at my son go. We found a hidden cove where they made a jump off spot for people to take a leap of faith. Aquaman, that's my son. The culture on the lake is friendly and fun vibes all across the board. You had groups passing by throwing marshmallows at the fellow passengers. The kids and I even got in on the action. We pack some fruit and other healthy snacks to keep us energized throughout the day. Make sure you have lots of ice and will melt fast. Can't stress enough to have waterproof bags and containers so your food and electronic devices don't get wet. Be sure to wear sunscreen. Protect that skin. You're sitting on the float for hours, baking, burning, basting. <laughs> We had our own tube, so things were a bit more comfortable for us. We had mesh lining in the tube, so the kids felt a little bit more secure. We bungeed our tubes and tied them together along with the cooler, so we wouldn't lose each other as we were floating down the river. Overall, we had a blast. It was our first time, but not our last. My princess is a whole mood. Even he was tired too. <laughs>